Hello and welcome to the HTML5 lesson on interaction, interactive uh, activity with the canvas. And this is our first sample of that. What I've got is I've got the canvas element up here. You can't see it because I'm not using any style sheets to show it. Uh, but I do have a, a blue uh, cube on there. And I'm putting my mouse over the blue cube and I'm left clicking with my mouse button. And every time I click, it's no longer a cube. It just keeps growing. And it'll keep on growing, going to the right, until it runs off of the canvas element. Now, you can't see where the canvas element ends. Uh, now, I'm still clicking and it stops. So the canvas element ends right here. Uh, I'm going to refresh this. And there it is again. And I left click. And I can make the thing expand to the right. OK, let's see how I did this. First of all, there's a couple of tricks on how this is done. One of the tricks is is that I'm using uh, two script elements. This is one script element that's inside the body element, this element right here. This script element inside here gets executed as soon as the page loads. So there's my get element by ID. Uh, there's my get context 2D. There's my fill style blue, and there is my uh, X and Y uh, coordinates for where the cube uh, starts, and that's the dimensions of my cube. So that that's what I get when I first load up the page. So when I do that, that's what I get. And that comes from the script that's contained within the body of my document. Now, in order to make it interactive, what I've done is I've taken the canvas uh, element and I've taken the opening tag and I put an attribute, I've added an attribute called on click move it. Well, this is referring to a function that has been loaded into the head element. Here's the head element of my document. The head element simply loads stuff in, but it doesn't do anything with it yet unless you ask it to. So I'm saying now when I click on my canvas, I want you to do this function called move it. Well, what is this function doing? Well, it's making a canvas, my canvas fill rectangle, just like it did down here. It said my canvas fill rectangle. I'm telling it to do it again, my canvas fill rectangle, except now x, instead of being 10, x is going to start out being 15, five more pixels to the right. So the first time I call this, this is going to be a 15 instead of the 10 that I have down here. okay. And then what's going to happen is that it's going to increment the value of x plus fi uh, by 5. This plus equals means take whatever the value x has and add 5 more to it. It's the same thing as saying x uh, equals or is assigned uh, x plus 5. This is just a shortcut way in JavaScript of doing that using the plus equals operator. x plus equals 5 means take the value of x and increase it by 5. So the next time I call this function, instead of x being 15, x will now be 20. And so now it's the move, uh, it stretches out even further. Now, notice there's nothing behind here to erase what's there. In other words, it doesn't look like I'm moving the cube to the right. If I want to do that, I have to come back and erase where it was and just see it. Right now, it's still staying where it was, and I'm expanding the width of it until it runs out of the out of the canvas. Now, by using cascading style sheets, as you know, I could have shown where that canvas was located. All right, so this is your first stab at uh, making your HTML5 canvas element interactive. And one of the tricks in doing that is using script in the body as well as for the initial conditions of setting it up and then using script in the head element in order to make things happen or have things uh, be interactive. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.